Hey everybody, welcome back to Banished. The fields are being harvested, or at least the beans are. We have the crops coming in. Maybe we'll plant beans over here, because I like that this is harvested uh, in late summer rather than in autumn. It's less likely to be kind of destroyed or lost to an early winter. So that's nice. Two more people just became students. Uh, so we have 10 in there now. We have 10 or 11 children on hand. Uh, so we have 20 people coming up. We're just kind of waiting for them to grow up. Total population is 64. I'm waiting for these people to... Some of these people to kick off. We've got some young families in here, though. Uh, Middle-aged family there. Two children from that one. That's not bad. Only one from that one. But I think we're kind of good in in terms of how... How, um... How many people we're getting into the houses before they get past childbearing age. This one could have been better. We got one out of them and one out of them. Kind of right at the tail end of their... Their childbearing years when they got the house. Uh, but autumn is here. That harvest is coming in. As soon as the harvest come in, maybe we'll switch people off of being farmers and try to get some more stone and iron. Iron is the real one that's kind of a killer here. Oh, and there goes somebody dead. Herdsman. Okay, we should replace them. Um, We don't need quite as many farmers at the moment. Hopefully somebody will grow up before then and we can put them back in. <clears throat> We don't need as many farmers because we have this one field already done. Uh, we can only have... Oh. Don't... Yeah, there you go. Don't take people away from the farm that needs people. Well, this one's almost done harvesting anyway, so that should be fine. For some reason, it's only got two people working there. I was hoping they'd take the farm away from that one because nothing is happening there. Okay, so we got our yield, and how many, uh, how many peaches do we get for this time? 842. So we have most of the trees back, which is good to see. So now that the harvest is done, let's see if we can collect some iron. Over here, so let's see if we can get a fair bit. I think maybe we're gonna have to bite the bullet and just build a whole bunch of houses. Uh, and then hope we can keep up with the food production. I think maybe we've been playing it a little bit too conservatively. There we go. We got another adult. We'll put them into farming. We only have one herbalist on hand, which is fine. Speaking of which, what's our limit on herbs? We got only two in there. <coughs> and we have 94 there. What's our limit set at 100? We can probably raise that to 200 and be fine. Could Well, the log limit's probably fine. And our fuel limit is at 500, so that's pretty good. Late snows this year. Not coming... In, usually we kind of seem to be getting them in uh, late autumn. We're into early winter already and nothing. I'm not going to complain, but... A little bit unusual. We have our hundred coats on hand. That's good to see. So we're doing well there. Um, what's the radius on this again? So we could put some more housing in. Well, I might be able to fit another maybe one or two in there. Uh, we could put a couple more along there. Maybe we'll do that. So while we have people not... Farming. Let's put them into building. Let's pop down a couple more houses. Can we get two in here? We don't have room for one there, but we can put one there. Oh, we could get a second one right there. Perfect. And that'll flatten that hill a little bit. Can't get one next to it, though. Uh, let's build a third one there. And then... Well, we'll wait on the road, but I'd like to put a road at least along that edge as well. 
Let's take a couple more people off farming, put them into the building. <clears throat> oh, and we got a laborer. And they're immediately... Oh, Cole died! Cole! He was like, what, 80 almost? Taken up by two young people. Excellent. Lanian Bridge. Not bad, not bad. That house is going to be full for a while. But we got some young families moving in. Good to see. Wilhelma still needs a wife. Or maybe he doesn't want a wife. I don't know. I'm not going to judge. So those families are going to end at two children each. Which is kind of... You don't want the one child... Because then you're below kind of replacement. If you've done any... Anything having to do with population. Uh, you know, the replacement level is two children per family. Otherwise, why is nobody doing this stuff? Are they all busy over here? We're going to run into uh, spring soon. We've got an early... Alright. You know what? Let's put everybody back into that. We'll put that one guy into building. I guess we didn't get enough people to uh, collect all that iron in time. Or it looks like we're getting an early spring, so I'm going to want them back in the fields soon. Might have jumped the gun on putting them off that, but so be it. 25 sheep. Okay, so we should start getting mutton out of this soon, I would think. Right? None yet, but as soon as they start having, um, once they've reached that threshold, yeah, exceeding this count will result in livestock being slaughtered for food, which is what we want. We do want to start getting meat out of this, but I wanted to get a good population of sheep before that started happening. Now, I've been thinking maybe we should have um, two sheep pens, and then one we will use kind of as just the breeding one. Uh, because if you split it, and the, like if you're relying if you're relying on it for food, and you split the population, obviously then they'll both be below that threshold. And it'll take a long time for them to breed back up to get, um, to get that food back. So if we had one that we knew we could do without, and we just kept splitting it into additional fields, um, that might kind of uh, help stabilize our food situation with that. I don't know. Something to think about. Of course, we could just buy more sheep next time. Somebody brings some. Assuming we get to a good position on the firewood. We seem to be keeping up with it at least now. So that's a plus. I'm tempted to build another one. I guess we could just put it right across, right? We could put it... Well, yeah, it'd have to be somewhere over here. I guess right there. But we'll wait for these houses to go up first. Our builder doesn't seem to be doing his job. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's not coming to clear this for some reason. Who can we pull off something to go help him? Uh, we need the teacher. We need the vendors. We need the tailor. Oh, we got another laborer. There you go. Go do that. Help him out. That was probably her right there that we just assigned, right? Lanny? Nope. Geese. But stuff is happening. Good. Good, good. So now they should start bringing stuff over. The materials they need. Yeah, here it comes. That one's ready to go. Crops are planted. Good to see. 
I like that this is pretty much back up to full capacity on the peaches. We're up to 10 out of 32 grays. We're going to get... Uh, we're going to fill that up pretty soon again. We're going to have to keep an eye on that graveyard. Okay, we got two more people we can assign to buildings. So let's do that. This house has been built. We got some nice, uh, nice young family in there. This one's going up. Uh, well, we have the people, I guess. Let's get this road built, too. <clears throat> there we go. That's going to be done soon. This shouldn't take much longer. There we go. Another house. Another young family in there. Oh, and we got another person uh, exited the school. Okay, so let's take everybody off building. And let's pause for a second. So who do we need to replace? We have a full crop of farmers. We have a full thing of herdsmen, gatherers, fishermen, hunters, woodcutters, fine. Although I'd like to assign maybe one more to that. Um... Yeah, you know what? While we're while we're thinking about it, let's do that. Let's build another woodcutter, right there, and let's put some of these people back into that. <clears throat> there we go. So that's not a bad trip, just kind of around the graveyard to get to it. That should be fine. Unfortunately, we're kind of blocking that entrance, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. I think they can I think they can slip between the buildings, but I don't know. Maybe not. I actually haven't seen them do that. And somebody died and was replaced, so there goes one of our fishermen, Haid. 67 so that house will come available soon. Has Wilhelma found a wife? No. Hmm. Kind of unlucky. Especially considering a lot of people here are getting wives. Maybe Wilhelma doesn't want a wife. What do you got for me, traders? Chickens. You know what? That's actually kind of tempting. Chickens might be worth having. How many could we get? We could get two chickens. I kind of want to buy them. I kind of want to buy them. They're cheap. Hmm. But I also want to get that field going. Chickens provide eggs, so they should be... You know, I would think the chickens would breed pretty quickly, right? <clears throat> Maybe we will go for it. Oh, we just keep putting off building that other field. You know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to get two chickens. Hopefully they're not going to get sick and we can breed them up. Uh, we will trade. And we will take down the firewood. There we go. Okay. So now we need to build a farm... For the chickens. I assume they need a pasture, right? Could we... Well, I guess we can't. But I would assume chickens require a pasture. I don't see any kind of chicken coop option here. So once this is built, where do we want to put that? Maybe right next to it? Right in there? How are we doing in terms of that? Yeah, that would work. Uh, so let's put a livestock thing. Leave space for a road. Uh, we don't need a really big one for the chickens, do we, you think? It only takes two to manage a 20 by 20. So th yeah, we'll do go 20 by 20. Why not? And we'll extend the road. Well, we'll wait for this to get chopped down. Then we'll deal with that. So 
So we only need two builders for this, so we'll reduce that. Man, look at them go. They're clearing that out like nobody's business. Oh yeah, we need to assign somebody to being a woodcutter again, so we'll put one person into that. <clears throat> Brielle died, was replaced by Mitchie. That's the second person Mitchie is replaced as a fisherman. Perhaps she is not the ideal fisherman. Um, that's looking good. Let's actually go over to the herbalist. And we'll reduce that to just needing one. We're never going to get to that field, are we? Wow, that's a lot of stuff they need to clear. Alright. So now they should start hauling away the wood, but we can actually see what we're doing in here now. So we can put the roads down while we have those people selected as builders. And then we'll put them... Directly... Can we bring this right over here to that other road? Straight through there. And then like that. There we go. Oh, and somebody else died. Nobody... Sincenzo the Forester. Wasn't he like 20? He was their child, I think. So they're still alive and he just died of old age. Crap. Well, you know what we can do without a Forester for a little while. So once all this stuff gets cleared, they'll bring some logs over. We have a ton of logs. Um, and these have reached their limit. You know what? Let's pop that up then. Let's raise that to 700. And we'll bring another 200 back over to here. So let's put that 200 firewood into there. There we go. We're going to need more stone here soon, too. Uh, now we got a road coming over here, though, so it should be a little bit faster to collect it. we got a good stock right there that we can take. How's our chickens doing? Still alive, so that's what counts. Oh, we don't have anybody assigned as traders, do we? Nobody's gonna bring the firewood over there. Hopefully this uh, population issue is gonna solve itself here pretty soon. They'll die, then we'll get another house for a young family. They're not gonna be around for too much longer. We have 10 students still, so we should be getting them coming out pretty soon. 10 children as well. We've got quite a few young families. So we're doing good that wise. Late autumn, so we can pull some people off the fields here soon. I guess we don't really need to take them off it, do we? Actually, that's entirely harvested, isn't it? If we look at this, yeah, those are both entirely harvested. That's entirely harvested. Okay, late autumn, everything's harvested. Let's get some stone. Right there. I'm also going to pull two of them off and put them into building just so they can have constant people building this. And get that done quick and we can pop the chickens in there. And assign the two builders we had to be the herdsmen for it. Herdsman of chickens. So chi I don't think it's a herd, is it? I I've never heard of a chicken herd. Boom. Okay. I want chickens. 66. Wow. Yeah, why not? Uh, okay, so two of the builders will take them off, put two back into farming, put two more into the being a herdsman. 66 chickens could fit in that area. Man. Hopefully they breed quickly, too. You would think they would, because chickens lay a lot of eggs, right? Come on. There they go. Oh, they're going to go that way. Kind of an odd route to take. Fair enough. Right under the water. 
Wow, did they already collect all that stone? No, they couldn't have. No, it's all still marked. Well, our town is growing. That's good to see. Those chickens are taking kind of a roundabout way through the cemetery. Gonna go around past this way, I guess. Taking their sweet time getting over there. This is a much more direct route. The, the road goes straight through town. That might be another one, another good one to turn into stone. That path straight through town. As well as this one. Or at least this portion. Uh, something to think about there. Man, we're gonna need another stockpile over here. That's filling up. I'd like that if they'd move that iron over here. Unfortunately, there's no way to order them to move a particular resource to where you want it. Uh, I'm going to stick another stockpile there. This one's getting almost entirely full. Uh, but I think maybe this is a good point to end the episode. We got our two chickens in there, looking good. Hopefully they'll start breeding pretty quick. We have 24 out of 25 sheep, so a couple of them were killed? Yeah, we got 900 mutton, wow. Good, good, we're doing great on food. Okay, so once again, I'm Nycat, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Take care.